Hey there, it's Cassie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have something a little bit different. I don't have a card. I am going to do a little bit of mixed media. I'm going to be using my Ranger uh, Dilutions Square Journal. This is an 8x8 square journal, 8, eight inches by 8 inches. And um, I just thought I'd show you just something really quick because I've been working on some cards and my husband was home all last week and so I didn't get as much done as I had hoped uh, but I certainly got some time with him which is always a plus. So what I'm starting off by doing in this journal is I am going to take some washi tape and I'm just taping down a square. I just want to mask off a part of it and so I'm going to use some titanium buff golden fluid acrylic paint and um, I'm going to put it right onto my page. This is a super simple page. And if you're not into mixed media, um, this may not be for you. But this could easily translate onto a card as well, honestly. I am just painting in that square, just using a flat paintbrush that I have. And I'm going to grab my heat tool and I will heat set that in between. Because I, I don't want the the harsh lines of the paintbrush on there. So I am going to paint it a little bit more. I want, I'm going to put two coats on there. My plan is I have this stencil. This stencil is from Brutus Monroe. It is the spring stencil collection. Or you could find it in the spring glitter glaze and stencil kit. I'm not going to be using the glitter glazes. I just want to use the stencil. When I saw this stencil, I already had something in mind for it. And so now that that's dry, because I'm kind of impatient, I always use my heat tool. Now that that's dry, I'm going to grab that stencil and I'm going to stick that down and I'm just going to cover that with some paper towel so I don't get too much of a mess everywhere. Uh, I, You know, when we moved, I had all this moving paper. I always keep the packing paper because it works out really great for stuff like this. But in this case, I don't have any more left. So now I am taking some of my... Distress Oxide Sprays. This is the color Mermaid Lagoon and I'm just spritzing that all over the eggs. My thought process with this was I could make these really cute robin eggs. And that actually, the spray worked so much better than I thought it was going to do. I love the blue speckles. So I'm just going to heat set that. And yeah, I did spray some on my other page. I'm going to do a different um, layout with that later on. I may show you that if this is something that you guys have been interested in. Or if you if you like this video, I may show you the other one. Now I'm just going to use some Distress Paint in the color Espresso, and I'm stippling that through the stencil. It, this paint is a little bit wa um, watery, I suppose, is the best way to describe it. And so it did seep through on that one side, and so instead of just... I mean, when, this is a mixed media journal, so it really doesn't matter. I, I just decided to just go with it. And the other thing is, the fun thing about journaling like this is that you can play around and you don't really have to worry about how it's going to really look because it's your journal and that's the fun of it. So I stippled that through and it ended up, you know, not looking exactly like what I had for the nest, but it's okay. I don't mind. I ended up really liking what I was coming up with. So now I'm going to put that stent, the eggs right back over the top and I'm going to take some of that brown paint and I'm going to splatter that to make, make it really look like some spring robin eggs. I'm just having fun and that's, like I said, that's the fun of an art journal. You don't have to worry about people seeing it. You don't have to, you know, you can just play around and see how things work and see what you like. And, you know, I even made a mess there on the side, try to wipe it off, but it's okay. It's, it's a journal. And now I'm going to start peeling off that tape now that everything's fairly dry. And, um, you know, the heat did make that tape stick a little bit more than I would have liked it to, but it's okay. Um, I end up deciding after I see all the tape peeled off that I actually didn't, I mean, I wouldn't have used this particular tape anyway. I was just using this tape as a mask. But I do have some really cool washi tape in my uh, stash that looks like wood. And I think it was from Doodlebug. I don't think they make it anymore. If I can find it, I will link it down below. But um, I end up deciding to take some of that washi tape and going right back over what I had just picked up. But in this case, it ends up having the straight lines and you know you get rid of that where you paint it over the tape as well if you, if you know what I mean <laughs> I think you know what I mean so I like this this could make you know if I decided to to really um, hone my skill on this I could turn this into some sort of a paint project but I really like how this turned out it 
it's a lot of fun and um, just a fun way to get back into doing some more art journaling. So I'll finish off with my tape and I've squared it off nicely and then I'm going to grab some Tim Holtz uh, I can't even remember what they're called so but what I, I will have them linked down below because I know they have them at like Joann's and um, they may have them at Hobby Lobby I'm not sure but I know I found them online it's these little tabs basically they are chipboard and there's so many in there and I think I got them for like four or five dollars it was just it's insane and I I will clearly be using these like crazy so I just you know rifle through those find the one I want and then I'm going to stick that down with a little bit of glue just some tacky glue and I'll let that set that off to the side to dry so super fun super simple easy just quick mixed media page I'd love to know what you guys think is this something you guys like seeing is it um, not something you want to see so if you like this video go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't done so and as always thanks for stopping by